Them. Welcome, Olastovec from Germany to the beautiful city of Jerusalem. Both teams unbeaten in regular season action so far, 2-0. And, oh, and after Burgos's loss last night, the winner of this game will be on their own at the top of the group. Early days, but it's a great place to be, top in the group. Here is the schedule for Group B. And Vandemar had the three-point win over Burgos. Good win for Anvil Rakovac over Pau Ortez. And then Ike and Antwerp will face each other in the nightcap game. But our focus is here in Jerusalem. As the two unbeaten teams in this group will go head-to-head. -head. The prize the lead on your own in one of the toughest groups in this competition. Here's how things currently stand, as you can see. Ostevek with 2-0, uh, as are Jerusalem. No other team has a zero in the loss column. And you can see also how important the Ike and Antwerp game is later on, with both teams at 1-1. One and one. So there's Strastevektar lineup that sits ninth under coach Derek Allen in the Bundesliga. Has started incredibly well in the Basketball Champions League with two victories to really get a foothold in this group. Well, this roster, well, I have Paul Bagg, I have Jerusalem. Nice blend of import players and American talent under coach Kateche. A lot of continuity from last year where many will believe that uh, Jerusalem could have gone all the way, but ran into a very determined Tenerife team in the quarterfinals and therefore missed out on the final four. Crowd building steadily, one of the most passionate crowds in Basketball Champions League history. In European club basketball history here in Jerusalem. Now in the Pius Alina, one of the most stunning facilities in the Basketball Champions League. But what they've done in moving to a brand new facility is they've retained and taken all the passion across town. Just about to get into individual player introductions for this Group B clash. Well, some injury issues for Russia, Russia, Davetta. Josh Young not appearing to be in the lineup. Young, third in assists per game and second in points, is going to be a tough miss on the road here in Jerusalem. But the home crowd, welcome. 
Hapoel Jerusalem to the floor. Tamir Black. Who really has just developed in front of the basketball world's eyes into a very, very productive point guard. His contribution to this team is across the stat line, but he's third in assists per game, 3.5, and really does pull some strings. The man who really is getting it done all over the floor for Jerusalem in the first two weeks of Basketball Champions League action. Tashon Thomas, first in rebounding, efficiency, and second in points. 16 points a game, eight rebounds, 23 point ranking. Jobek, Jokoban Brown. Also across the rust across the stat line, four assists, 15 and a half points, and a ranking of 17 for coach Ode Katache. Katache has had his stints with the Israeli national team, but now his focus purely and totally on tonight's game in hand. Third team on the floor. Three officials. Zurapovic, Sharapa, and Salins from Bosnia, Belarus, and Latvia, respectively. Their teamwork, as we always say, as important as the other two teams on the floor. Real contrast in the first two games of this group. Astavec do, do a great job from the three-point line. Shooting 40, 43, nearly 44 percent. This starting lineup with Simpson, Murphy, Young, Wainwright, and uh, Bastura, all American starting lineup. For the current eighth place team in the Bundesliga. And that isn't Derek Allen. That's coach Pedro Cales. Derek Allen sitting next to him. Gonna get a look at the starting lineup for Hapoel. Tamir Blatt, James Fieldine. At the, in the backcourt, but the story for Jerusalem so far on this season has been the performance of Suleiman Ramimo. Second in efficiency at 21.5, second in rebounding, first in points, and the Nigerian power forward. He's 30 years old now, there's no surprises, but he's just been phenomenal. Really has found a great fit with this Hapoel lineup. Let's 
Kelvin Brown giving everybody a send off before the start of this one. So welcome to Jerusalem, the home team in the red. And the last of from Germany in the black uniform. Post entry, nice cut. And it, intimidation around the ring straight away. It's going to be the challenge. Black will find some space. Turns down the high screen, going baseline, drops it inside. Nice pass for the easy two. And that's what you're going to see a lot of. That's the back to take in the three as soon as they get the opportunity. Blatt in transition, takes a look at his options, goes pick and roll. Hard show to take Blatt out of turning the corner, steps back for three, drains it. Okay. Blatt loved the rhythm. The Bechter in the half court. Simpson looks at his options. Skip pass and Blatt almost gobbled that one up on the weak side. Just knocks it out of bounds. There's a replay of Blatt just finding a little separation. Quick release. Just drains the three. Goes up, right hand, just scoops it for two. And that'll settle down the German club. James Fielden moves it on. Black will turn down the screen and hand it off. Fielden, quick release for three. As sweet as you like. And Jerusalem just straight into rhythm. That's the back push. They get the trail three again. It's short. Great effort to keep it alive, but no one hunted it down. Nice pass. Great movement away from the ball. And at the moment, Jerusalem are humming. Sweet as you like. Lockett gets the two. Jerusalem have the lead. Uh, Rasta. Rekta take the timeout. It's just the flow. There's a real purpose to the way that uh, Jerusalem has started this game. Let's take a listen to the timeout. Well, perfect start from the field for Jerusalem. Fourth and fourth. And they have just moved sweetly. Token pressure up the floor, coming out of the timeout. Quick release on the three-point line again, and they will put it up. There is no debate. That's the way this team want to play. Travis Simpson gets the first three of the night for Rasta Vector. Black will move it on. Fielder tries to answer. He's short. Defensive rebound. And a chance to run. 
Brewster with a pass. Foul on the plate. There's the foul on the body. First one is good for Schmel Rainwright. Like another one of these players that contribute across the roster. Second in efficiency, third in points. Leads the team in assists with five and a half per game. And this team share the ball really well, averaging 25 assists per game. They like to keep it quick. They like to keep it spread. They've got to just get down and play some defense right now. Black looks to turn the corner. Will go high. The foul line jump shot is long. And the ball will finally come off Trent Lockett. away from the floor threes up the three is just drained Josh Young well they didn't announce him before the game it's almost a gap in the uh, roster but uh, looks perfectly well blacks long three oh deep three from Tamir Black and this well we had huge points last night in the basketball champions league this carries on like that Three is short, defensive rebound, pulled in. Fielder will push, looks long. Well, give it to sit back out. It's a nice pass. Oh, they share it beautifully. And one. Cute play. But it's all too easy. The ball has just skipped around. No one made a statement with a defense. Dropped inside, no rotation. There's one player that helps. And then no one helps the help up. Thompson dropped the first pass. Lock up, lock at the second. An easy two. Suleiman. Grimo. Four points. Make that still four points. Team rebound. And Sergi Garcia. Spanish point card, still only 22 years old. Will replace to the corner. Skip pass, the open three, and the foul on the three-point shot. And Locker is the culprit. Well, the challenge for Jerusalem is they have to contain their man. Because if they don't, as soon as they get into rotations, attack get them into long closeouts this team love to shoot the basketball got to guard your man Travis Simpson on the free throw line makes the first Two for two from the line. Cuts it to a three-point game. Just under six to go in the first. We're not even halfway through this. And Jerusalem already on to 15. Black just about gave a pass. Kips us. Oh, strong. Went through the contact. Coops us with a strong finish. Really is beginning to mature. A two-meter 15 center. While well, the pass was never really there for Wainwright. Almost made his mind up to make the pass. Regardless of what happened, they get out of the double team. Just about recover. Thomas gives it up. And that's strong from uh, Kapsas. It's the Vec trying to extend their defense. Big year step, turnover, chance to run. Numbers down the floor. 
going up for the quick three is good. They love to run and gun. Simpson goes on to eight personal. Perfect from beyond the three-point line. Whistle on the play. Sergi Garcia with the steal and the assist. Coban Brown will get things started for Jerusalem. And this double team in defense, Blair goes up, gets uh, blocked. Oops, ass for the putback, he's good. Tamal Bear got blocked coming out of the trap. But the big Lithuanian, Mindaugas, Oops, ass just stayed with the play. Ball line jump shot is good. And this team can shoot the basketball, that's for sure. Close it to a two-point game. 4.20 to go in Q1. Fielding. Tries to get a little space. Now we'll take the ball screen. Black tries to turn the corner. Fielding with extra pass. Brown with the three is long. Great rebound. Tremendous work on the glass. They can't get the other three to drop. The back come down with a team rebound. Well, they, they do not need a second invitation to fire it up. Dillon lines up the three to answer, just drops it. And this is at all the marks of a shootout when we tipped, and it has not disappointed. Dillon goes on to six personal. Althea drains it. Well, if you like your basketball up-tempo, if you like watching players with the ability to shoot, you are in the right place. Fielding looks at his options, goes down low. Colvin Brown backs it out a little, skips it. The three is good. Well, if either team, one of either team decides to get down and play some defense, that could be enough penetration to the inside and kick. Garcia has it, takes the ball screen, feet set, fires up the three, back-to-back -back threes for the Spaniard. Hold on to your hats. 25 to 23, 240 to go. Fulham moves the ball on. It's a little static. You have to settle for the two. Well, if you shoot the ball that well, why not? Chicobam Brown knocks down the long two. We have a whistle on the plate. Well, on any given night, a club from the Bundesliga in Germany could literally beat anyone. They could also lose to anyone, but they are fun to watch. High ball screen, whistle on the play, offensive. It was never set. Mikhail Kessens never got his feet set on the screen. Kessen sits down with his second foul. Isaiah Cousins checks in and handles the ball. High low. Capsas, second move. Gets the drop. What is the real counterbalance to the rest of the Jerusalem lineup? Plays so solidly, great footwork, finishes the play. Garcia flares, puts it on the floor. 
needs a pass, finds one. Five on the clock. Penetration down the middle. Kick for three is short. Great work on the glass, but finally comes down to James Fielder, and he'll push. Got a whistle. The noise is the same, the atmosphere is the same. They're just in great surroundings right now. It used to be one of the toughest places to win in European basketball. The old arena in Jerusalem. Brand new arena, state-of-the-art arena. What they've brought is good old-fashioned passion. Jerusalem lead it 29 to 23. Have the basketball, 110. Remaining in the first. Amal has it. Well, hand it over to Fielding. Deep three is good. Halfway to downtown Jerusalem. And that three opens out the nine point lead as Fielding goes to 12 on the game. Four from five from beyond the arc. Corner three is good. Thirty-two twenty-six. Through in halftime scores as low as that. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's Colvin Brown. Looks at the hide show. Doesn't like it. Pulls up for three. Drops it. And at the minute. Shooting the three is like shooting it in the ocean. Both teams just filling it up. 35 to 26. Whistle on the play, they had a foul to give. Smart foul by Brown. Good minutes from uh, Kapsas. Fielden will sit in all of 1.7 seconds rotation at the end of the first quarter. Got to be a catch and release. Tough pass. You have to take the tough one. And that'll do it for the end of the first quarter. And that is how to shoot the basketball. Jerusalem have the 35 to 26 lead at the end of the first quarter.
while it was one quarter of highlights in terms of shooting the basketball. Start of quarter two. Jerusalem have possession, fill the double team. But they'll take the early three. Defensive rebound is lost. Sean Thompson gives it up. The three is no good. Perfect trying to just create this game, stretch this game, make it a little messy. The double team taking Jerusalem out of what they want to run. Garcia drops it inside. Nice pass. They blow the, the two footer. It'll come back to Garcia though with a new 14. Penetration, ball knocked away. And it will go back to Hapoel Jerusalem. Comes off the knee of uh, Hergenhoff. Up the floor again, trying to just disrupt. Coban Brown will move the ball on. They skip it. Fielding just about stays in bounds. Four on the shot clock. Got to go up. Baseline penetration. He's fouled. We'll have to earn it from the free throw line, but that was quick. Great first step. Must be getting hot. Coach Katashe dispenses with the jacket. One thing's definitely hot. That's his team's ability to shoot the basketball. Fielder makes a second of the free throws. Opens it out to the 11 point lead. Ball recovered. Garcia moves it on. They'll go ball screen. Josh Young breaks the defense down, step to the middle, tough finish. Somehow manufactured an angle, double team coming out of the Smade hoop, wide open. Colbert Brown for three is off. The Brown just calls in havoc on the glass. Here's the layup. Josh Young. Off the window, gets the drop. Young will sit. Cousins fills the double team, tries to separate. Just attacks it, quick off the glass, doesn't get it to drop. But to Sean Thomas, just spikes the rebound and restores the double digit lead. Five offensive rebounds for Jerusalem, they're so active. Garcia, nice pass, easy two. It's an easy two because of the movement away from the basketball. Wainwright gets the two, beautiful pass for Garcia. Wainwright for personal. Turnover. And foul is. Vechka look to run. Gotta love the tempo. Get caught. Looking at the ball, Garcia will find your man. Must stay active. I saw Cousins sits, Tamir Blatt checks back in. Kapsas checks back in. Nice uh, performance in that first quarter. Got to pick it up where he left off. Got to guard your man one on one. You can't give space for the three. It's long. They dodge the bullet. Offensive rebound picked up by Garcia. Garcia leads his team in rebounding. 
from the guard spot because he hangs around like that. Need to pass. The three is away and rattles in and out. Black will bring it under control and Jerusalem into the half court. Again, the extra pass to the inside. Phenomenal use of the bounce pass. Finding ways to find space, finding ways to create opportunity. Nimrod Levy with the assist. Lindalgas. Kapsas with the two. Timeout. Let's cut. Wow. Those coaching aficionados of you watching this game. Interesting. Mr. Callas let the players resolve that over helping or not helping enough. I think they got to the point of understanding what they wanted. It's that situation there. And you've got to say on that particular one, Wainwright just did not drop aggressively enough. Kapsas, four for four from the field. I don't think he's taken a shot outside two foot. The 11-point game, 6.30 to go in the half. Garcia wraps it. Well, that's the skip pass they talked about in the timeout. Attack the middle in the lane with a tough runner is good. Black builds the double team, turns it over, can't deal with it. Easy two. Everybody just turned their back on Black. He had nowhere to go. Seven-point game. Tamir Black has it. Drops it inside, but uh, whistle on the plate. Trying to get luck at the ball. There's the turnover. Black will take the high screen. Wraps it inside. That's a pass. That's a super pass by Tamir Black. Read the defense. And Levy was just in the scene. Beautiful find. Baseline penetration. Power layup off the glass for two. And Wainwright starting to find some rhythm offensively. Black has it. We'll take the high screen. Take the offensive foul on the ball screen. Cups has some trouble when you are when you're two meters 15 and you move on a screen. I think the whole world sees you. There's the replay of the pass. He must be a joy to play with Tamir Black. If you are open, he will find you. Cupsas will sit. Seven point game, still five minutes plus sub remaining in the first half. Murphy will hand it off, he dives. Who needs to dive on the inside? The three is just stroked from the corner. Simpson with his feet set. Once he has his feet set, if you do not get above his eye line, 
and the defense was below his eye line. It's an open shot. Flat finds the open man. That's going to be a hell ball. Chance to make this a two or a one point game on this trip. Don't forget they were down 11 less than two minutes ago. Off here, puts it on the floor, attacks that little seam off the glass, and it was undecided, indecisive. Block it. So, uh, what a finish. Chashon Thompson just said, I'm going. Gets above the ring, can't throw it down. But a tough move. Rafia flies up the three and drops it from deep. It's such a sweet release. Three from three. Three-point game. As close as they have been in a very long time. Blatt needs a pass. Inside, outside. Ball's locked away. And it's just breaking up the rhythm. Great recovery. Filled him with the rotation defensively at the top draw. But here's Garcia. Sweet as you like. High finish. Sweet rhythm. over three and a half to go. We already have a 45-42 scoreline. Penetration, Garcia for two is good. And if they start penetrating, they get all sorts of options. The stereo with the two. Drewson with the weave. Black turns down the ball screen. Field and settles for the three. Long, never in rhythm. Defensive rebound, hauled in, chance to run. And take the lead, if you can believe that. Trail 11, and they've now got a possession to take the lead. They settle for the three, that's way short. Ball's out of bounds, as Sean Thomas thought he had it. And Jerusalem will take the time out. 2.56 to go. Coach Katache wants to build a little momentum going into the half. Let's take a listen. Even if we run out 
Garcia with nine points, hasn't missed the three. Again, following the timeout, full court pressure, looking to jump, beat that simply with the pass. Thomas with the screen, Jerome Brown finds Thomas, just about recovers it. Crazy pass from, well, it was from Thomas, originally from Brown. Oh, what a block. Trent Lockett said nothing easy at Aaron. Just works hard to get back, outworks the opponent, gets the block, end line possession. Or Vesta. going to say stepped out of bounds or well, hadn't stepped in bounds before he took the basketball opportunity missed Vegeta. only their fourth turnover though for a team that really does run and gun they take good care of the basketball 2.30 to go in the first half the home team by the narrowest of one points Got to get it over, and they do. Coburn Brown needs a pass somehow. Gets it off the field. Brown lines up for three. Got it. Well, it was an effort to get it over the halfway line. Straight forward to make the three. Josh Young hands it off. Asturia. And gets it back has a look at his options attacks the middle of the floor just absolutely swatted away great effort just to come up with they get it away and don't get it to drop sure what the problem was that's the problem I don't really understand how Lockett can do that and quite rightly gets the technical foul and that's uh, converted by Simpson. No reason for Lockett. The referee had made the call. And we revert to an end line possession for Jerusalem. Three point lead, 140 to go. 48 to 45. To Colvin Brown. Gets the reposition ball screen from Thomas. Brown's had the ball a lot in this series. Settles for the three. Why not? Why wouldn't you settle for the three? Back to back threes for Jacob Van Brown. Opens it out to a six point game. Styria moves it on. They jump, drop it inside. Garthier. Mysterio on the penetration, upstairs, and they missed a little gimme from two feet. But a new full team, Garthier has it. It's to the foul line, far side of the ring, scoops one up. 
great effort on the glass. This will be the third possession. Deep, deep three is short, and they can't convert any of the three possessions they had. Double teamed again to get out of that. Black has it. Pass it inside, can't finish the play. And just about recovered. 20, about a four second differential between the game and possession clock. Jerusalem have the six point lead. This should be pretty much the last possession. Whistle on the play, it will be, or should be the last possession. Replay. Oh, Jacob Van Brown with the second of the back to back threes. Plenty of time to get the last shot of what's been a thoroughly entertaining first quarter. Step back three is long. Whistle on the plate. And I think Fielder's going to be charged with the personal. And that will send Hitchita to the free throw line. Nimrod Levy sits. Meanwhile, Josh Young makes the first of the throws. 4.7 seconds for Hapoel to advance the basketball, get the last shot of the half. Substitution. Young will sit. No fouls to give. Plenty of time. Get yourself set. Cousins has it. Sets for three. Drops it. And why wouldn't he at the end of a half where both teams have shot the three ball? So phenomenally well. Cousins ends the half on a real high note. 4.7 seconds. More than enough. Clearly releases the basketball. Nothing but strength. And Isaiah Cousins ends the half. And Jerusalem have a 54 to 47 advantage. What a half of basketball. Seven points is nothing in this game. The fans will need a rest. Recover some strength for the second half. 59 and 42 percent from the three-point line. Only one free throw has been missed. Rebound-wise, Jerusalem just have a slight edge, as they do with assists, but let's go up with the full-court defense and come up with six steals. So the tone of the game is set. Tremendous half of basketball. Fielden and Simpson, 14 apiece, lead their respective teams. Jacob Van Brown chipped in with 11. Sergi Garcia, 100% from the three-point line, has nine. But the numbers that really matter, Jerusalem have a 54 to 47 advantage at the half. We'll leave you some highlights of what was just an exhibition of how to shoot the basketball. We'll see you in around 10 minutes for the second half. Who will remain unbeaten in Group B and top the group all alone? We'll see you in 10.
last three minutes of the half. Oh, the weak side just opened up. The one goes straight down the middle and flushes one. Davis, meanwhile, gets in and makes a very tough reverse layup. No wonder they call him Jordan. That's Jordan S. Gilavats, it gets rejected. Well, what a block. Tell you what, just did by making a count in transition. And right now, Gazetep are just such a bronzes, but really, Aaron is just taking this game over. Oh, what a play by Chris Wright! It looked like he had no chance of making that one. Almost takes the shot while he's lying on the floor. Sam Bubbles now inbounds the ball to baseline. This is Hatcher. Hatcher spins around. Well, he's got to make that shot. William Hatcher, are you serious? This guy, veteran, is putting on a show. I mean, he looks like a globe trotter right now. Mitchell slow post. His pass to Ray. Ray putting it on the floor. Oh, scoops it up, and it goes for Kendrick Ray. Head of Bender, Almeida in the lane. Almeida for the win, does it get it, but it's hit back his head. And now, Aaron Nimbert, they win the game with Hank is here in overtime. I can't believe it. Here's Almeida, goes in the lane. Hank is comes up. Oh, that's game over. Aaron Nimbert now have won this ball game. Eight points now. Now, and that's a big time block. Big time defensive play. Not in this house as Gentile tries to get through. Over Solon goes up for the jam. There's no way Zabinov was going to allow himself to be on the wrong end of a post. What a tough catch by Martin, and he puts it up! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, he's made it! Was it Stone in the end? Unbelievable. These guys refuse to lose tonight.
this option or this option, okay? Right. Just dribble, move, really spread the mm -hmm. floor here. Okay, to get the five out of the... Welcome position. back to Jerusalem. Just the first two masturbation of that. Wayne Wright. Rastabekta in the huddle. Simpson, okay? Boom. But it's not here. like you can Come go back. into their locker room and say, guys, we didn't play very well. Okay. Clear. Defense. Move the ball well, Defense. shot the ball well. Key is, though, they've just Another got to play more defense. defense. Uh, play with the hands, especially off the ball. Up the floor, very good. Uh, they double team, they trap, they back. throw different looks at you. But in the half court, they have just got to play team defense. You're, you're going against a good team that's going to make shots. You just can't give them good, uh, easy looks. And they gave them too many easy looks at times, especially on the inside. They can rectify that. This team have a huge opportunity, an opportunity to get the win on the road here. That will be a huge bonus in this group. Colbert Brown will have the ball at the start of this second half. Possession with Jerusalem. And Cousins starts in the backcourt. Cousins is short. And the ball will go to Rastavechta. The three at the start of the second half is no good. Offensive rebound. Is pulled in by Wainwright. Oh, defense in the air, and the baseline just opens right up. And Wainwright did not need the second invitation. Flushes it for two, goes to eight personal. Much better defensively, much better on the ball. The rotation was better. A foul on the play by Jacob Van Brown. Turns the corner. Off the glass for two is no good. Offensive rebound. So much activity on the glass. Kamari Murphy just went after it. Is no good. Ball movement is good again by out of the deep three is just drained from deep they just have no limit to range here Asturia gets the three back to a four-point game tries to answer with a three this building and he does it's 
shoot out of the Pi Arena in Jerusalem. From the corner, way short. I think they even got a piece of that one defensively. Jacob Brown will push. We're back in rhythm, 62 to 52. If you don't guard the ball, people are just gonna do this. Pull up, wide open, and fill it up from deep. 62-52, timeout for Rasta Vecta. Let's take a listen. If we go to the trap, we go to the trap, we have to talk. We have to talk red on something because we do it, but we don't believe. Then see some goals, but okay, I go because I have to go, and then I leave my open, my main wide open. We have to be on the same page of the book. Offensively, move, don't run around. If you set the screen, roll. Because we are setting the screen and playing in between. Screen and roll, and clear separation, okay? Transition, transition is really good for us. Yeah, we have it. They can't. Let's go, get it. Get it. Let's go. Next play, shoulder fight. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Execute on three. Come on, come on, come on. Execute. Watch it go. Watch Coban Brown. From deep, getting to the ring. Just having one of those nights offensively. Steps through the lane. No one helped. Just gave up the wide open layup. That's why we have 62-52 scoreline. That's the vector, just have to play defense. Josh Young has it, into the half court. Pasturia. Nice look, great rotation defensively though. Bravo got it, now he needs it in the corner. They don't give him a look, Cousins misses the three. Just about recovered. Mysteria will push the basketball for Vector. No options. We'll back it out and take a look at his options. Mysteria in the lane. Stops off the glass for two. So many ways both these teams can score. Turnover recovered by Cousins. Going to go pushing foul. It's a bit harsh on Josh Young, it's the loose ball foul. That's Sean Thomas with a flyby. Young picks up foul number three. I don't think they can afford to sit him. He's gonna have to trust him. End line possession. L1. Fielding is just putting on a demonstration of how to score. Super pass by Vlad out of bounds. Just put it right in his stride and he goes up, takes a bit of contact. Back to a 10 point lead. Master Vector got it back to three just before the half. Five from seven. He's just had a night. Quick release on the pass. Big time effort. Big time effort getting back by Zalmanson. Jerusalem will show the two three zone. Got to match up on the shooters. And then they just file out to man to man. So as you got here, drops it inside, just about gets it back. Eight on the possession, nice pass. Cute little finish too, but Garcia just stayed with it. Super pass. To be a black. We'll move the basketball on. Gets it back outside the three. Offensive foul. And Deshaun Thomas, as he rolled, took half of the defense with him. Thomas will sit. He's replaced by Suleiman Bravo. Bravo's having, for him, 
a relatively quiet night, averaging 16 points a game, just has the four. Watch out on the runway, field it for two, throws it down, raises the roof, jogs back on defense. 22.7 from nine. Wayne Wright will move it on. Take the high post hand off, slip the screen. Garcia from D. Oh! The Pile Arena shootout just took on another depth here, just even further. Both teams just shooting the basketball. Colbert Brown is fouled as he goes back off the free position on the screen. Kess is going to pick up foul number threes. Play very limited minutes. And right on the Basketball Champions League logo. Sergi Garcia, the 22-year-old point guard. I mean, you a demonstration of how to shoot it. Building will sit. Eight-point game. Black for three is fouled. Garcia across the arm. Black knocks down the first. And continues to look so solid from the free throw line. Simplicity itself in terms of the way he shoots the basketball. Everything's in a straight line. Three from three from the line and restores the 11 point lead. And Vector just cannot get over the hump. Nine points personal. Nice pass, drops it inside, turnover, Blatt's at the races. That's great transition, both ways. Jacob Van Brown will back it out, likes his matchup, believes he's gonna break the defense down. Puts it on the floor, gets to the lane for two, can't get it to drop. And then commits that frustration foul. Brown's going to sit, Fielding's coming back. Turn the corner inside, they get into the corner. The three is short. Great work on the glass. Pass to the inside. Herkenhoff is fat, it's just blocked. Herkenhoff went up weak. Fielding, nice pass, used to bounce pass. Black for three is short. Doesn't quite get his own rebound. Four on three on the break, just find the open man. Steps on the sideline. Joel Rush. Rochelle. Just stepped on the sideline. 10 and 9. And for the pace of the game, both teams have taken very good care of the ball. Salmonson kicks. The open three is short. And all of a sudden, both teams drying up a little. It was bound to happen. Garcia. Stops, push shot with the left hand, can't drop, get the drop, flat the other way. Up and down the floor, the pace is relentless. Black, indecisive, nowhere to go. What an effort. Unbelievable effort by Lockett. The 
looks inside, Zamuson holds his space, goes up for two, tough finish. Luck out with a two, 13 point game. In this game, 13 points can disappear in a blink of the eye. Simpson in the lane, drops it inside, blocked from behind. Bubble just swarmed around the ball. Black gets the high screen. Gets a reposition screen, looks to upgrade off it. Drops it inside, Brahma goes off the glass for two. Beautiful little two-man game. Nice little spurt by Jerusalem. Offensive foul called, and a 15-point lead could become 18. There's the block from Brimo. Big possession here. 15, sounds manageable. Quick hands, knocks it away. Block it. Gets to the foul line, drops it off. Builder just drops another three. 18-point game in the blink of an eye. 25 personal. And the wheels are coming off the wagon. And this crowd will make sure the rest of Ekta know. Ramos just had a phenomenal two minutes. Scoring. Blocks, steals, generates another turnover. And Suleiman Bramo may not be coming out with the points he's come out with, but he is coming up big across the stat line. Rush the vector timeout. That's a big number for Jerusalem, 31 points. But don't forget Jacob Van Brown. One of the guys coming off the bench always scores heavily. If they switch, try to play inside. Or to play with the wide, if they over the half, play. Coming off the bench, Jacob Van Brown is still the third leading scorer for this lineup. Play solid, talk. If we got a foul, foul, but don't let them shoot and don't let them score. Rashford Becton in a really solid end to this third quarter right now. Stops and scores just to get some momentum before the start of the fourth. James Feldon, 25 points, six from eight from the three-point line, eight from ten. He's just been absolutely phenomenal. Black takes a look at his options. Pass with the pick, will reposition, goes the other way. Black on the inside, gets it to the big man. He's fouled on the way up. And Kapsas just gives him a, a slightly different feel, slightly different option. Chance to make this a 20-point game. We were looking at a three-point game not that long ago. And last of Etra have just dried up and slowed up. Hapoel Jerusalem are just relentless. Now, there's still an eternity left in the game. A minute left in the third. Got to get that scoreboard ticking over. Garcia wraps the pass. Turnover, almost. It was a turnover in the end. 
Wainwright couldn't handle the pass. And they've gone a little slower. It's not flowing. And you've got to credit Jerusalem for stepping it up defensively in the third. It's a 24 to 12 quarter. And they're not done yet. Cousins in the lane, pushes one for two, soft touch, gets the roll. And they rolled up to 80. And we're still in the third. Garcia gets it into the half court and gets it back. Takes the ball screen. Turnover. And he's gone down. It's a three-on-one break. Felden steps back for three. Is long. Black will haul it down. Takes the three. Is good. Well, Garcia say down. Holding his head, perhaps, of a head injury. The official might have thought about stopping it straight away, but let's take a look. Well, he just pretty much ran into Kupsas. Now, that's a, you could argue, maybe a case for a blocking foul, but Kupsas is not a small body to run into. In fact, he's not rolling around on the floor. He's, it looks pretty hurt to me. But as I say, that's a big hip to run into. Kupsas. The 2 meter 15, 28-year-old Lithuanian. He's a big body. Garcia's going to have to leave the floor. Drew some doctor on hand. And in these days of concussion protocols, etc., they'll check him out. Still a lot of reasons for for him to get back in the game if he's capable. I think he, I'm not sure how bad, well, only the medical staff will know how bad he is. 83 to 59. Arastavecta would love to break 60 with the last possession of the third quarter. Josh Young breaks the defense down and blows the layup. They can't get it away, did everything right, just couldn't finish the play, and that sums up the quarter. At the end of three, a pole bank, how about Jerusalem have an 83 to 59 lead over the last of Acta. That is how to turn the screw, 71% from two, 56 from three. Rasta Vector, their numbers are not bad, 48, 42 and 78. But they have just run up against the scoring machine tonight. Just a tremendous third quarter performance. Sparked by Jacoban Brown and finished always contributed to by James Felden just phenomenal by Felden Felden's stat line 8 from 11 from the floor 3 rebounds, he's chipped him with an assist 25 points on 26 minutes of basketball
and he's even holding the roof up. Start of the fourth quarter. That's to Vector on the wrong end of a 24-point margin, and it all went wrong in the second half of the third quarter. Move to the inside is no good. Offensive rebound. A 14-second reset. Young moves the ball on. They look inside again. Young for three is no good. They get a third look at it. Wainwright on the floor, fills the double team, needs to pass. Three is away, and all of a sudden, the lid is off the three uh, basket, and Simpson hits the three. Cousins into the half court. Gonna love the way this Jerusalem team share it. Levy with the stroll to the hoop for two. Two things here for Lasta Vector. One, they'd love to get a run to see if they give themselves a chance in the game. The three is away. Anchored. But they've got to look, have one eye on the points difference here. Even though it's only week three, Jerusalem will have to travel back to Germany later in the regular season. So you don't, don't, do not want to be looking at a 25 point loss inside out. Coban Brown. Oh. oh, we could go on about lack of defense. But an open shot, you've still got to make. And both teams shooting the basketball at a great level. Bartimore checks into the game for the first time tonight. Wainwright gives it up. Nice little curl on the screen for the two. And Herkenoff gets the two. Back to back baskets for the big man. Uh, disappointing foul for Ishmael Wainwright. James Fielding's work might be done for the night. Wainwright will sit. Cousins deep in the corner. And skips it. Brown is off this time for three. Herkenhoff comes down with a rebound. Again, same thing. Josh Young had plenty of opportunities to shoot the basketball. It's almost like he'd made his mind up. He was going to try and make the, the bounce pass down low. Nine on the possession. They try and back out. They set off the three. Unopposed defensive rebound is collected by Cousins. He turns it over. Another block, it's just not giving him anything easy. Three is no good for Vesturia. And Cousins. Another turnover. Off the glass, two is a good finish by Vesturia. Under a, under a 20 point game now, 19 is the, is the margin. Three is way off. 
plenty of time, 6.30 to go. And teams such as Rasta Vecta are never out of a game because they can score in such a hurry. And that threes like that have got to drop. Cousins with a defensive rebound gives it up. And Jacob Van Brown. Baltimore, Samuelson looks underneath. Nice finish. Nimrod Levick. Found a way to create an angle. Josh Young looks at his options. Just under six to go. Settles for the three. And the ball will belong to Applewell Jerusalem. Van Brown. Looks like he's really enjoying himself this evening. Baltimore drops it. Nice pass. Everybody gets a touch and they get the easy two. Salmonson gets the basket, but every single player in a red uniform touched the basketball. Asturia outside the three-point line. Tries to lob it in. You know, just about hangs on. Vesturia with a long three is short. Just couldn't time the jump. Jacob Van Brown brings it down, gives it up. Cousins attacks it. Comes back to the lane with a jump hook. Is no good. Amari Murray. No one stops the ball. He just about bumbles it down his knees. Nice pass to Timor. Asturia came across and protected the basket, but full court bounce pass. Great feel. To Kovan Brown, who'll take the ball screen from. Salmanson. Well, the tough finish is good. And Nimrod Levy. Showing what he has in his locker. Puts it on the floor, gets to the basket. Eight points personal. Garfield has checked back in. Steps back to the three. And whatever or however hard he was hit on the side of the head. It hasn't affected his range. Garcia, 15 points on five from six from the three-point line. Oh, great little change of decision by Timor. Sal Manson, inside out. Levin lines up the three, drops it. Inside, outside, going off the dribble. Spotting up from the three-point line. It was giving a nice little cameo right now. Nice find, the open three is good. Simpson lined it up, knocked it down. 20 points for Simpson, and we were saying earlier on, was he having that great a game? No, he's five from 10 from the three-point line. 20 points personal, he's having a game. Bartimore to the corner. Brown, Brown doesn't get the roll. That's to Vector, chance to run. Oh, Travis Simpson goes to 23 personal. Black can't answer if three of his own. Sorry, Timor can't answer. Oh, they're raining threes right now. 16-point game, Arasta Vector, with a little nine-point spurt. 
is there light at the end of the tunnel. Let's take a listen to the Jerusalem timeout. point game after the Jerusalem timeout. Last two minutes of what's been an exhibition of how to score. Kapsas is fouled on the inside. Both teams have gone deep to the bench. Luke Van Sluten, 17 year old, has checked in for Rasta Vector. Meanwhile, Samir Black puts it on the floor. Nice look to the inside, and Kapsas is fouled. And he'll have to earn them from the three throw line. And that's not a good sign. There's Joel Rachel. Literally straight to the bench. Must have felt something go. It's already happened by the time they score. Well, there you see it. Maybe it's just a dead leg. 16-point game, two free throws to come. Fumble, retained, fouled. It all happened in the one play. And Kupsas sees the bright side. It's easy to see the bright side at 98-81 with 1.50 to go. Not sure it would have been the bright side earlier on. Kesson goes to the free throw line. Game that was totally dominated by Jerusalem in the third quarter. Layup is missed. Chance to run the other way. Garthia. It's important here for Rasta Vector to close the gap as much as they can. Asturia needs a pass. Finds one. Garthia penetrates wide open for three. Short. And Van Sluten almost knocked down his first points in the Basketball Champions League. The 17-year-old two-meter two forward.
Lingard here drops it inside. Asin goes baseline, wide open in the corner for three. Well, Rasta Vector have come to Jerusalem, scored 85 points, and have not been in the game since the middle of the third quarter. Foul on the play. And Kipsis is making a mess of his perfect stats. And these are important, important points for Lasta Vector. Important moments for them. It's now only a 13 point game. It was 20 plus. A 10 point loss is not the end of the world this early in the Champions Basketball Champions League. Garcia doesn't want the screen. Now he'll take the screen. Basson, nice pass from Garcia. Seven seconds for Baltimore to play. Black for three, is short. And that'll do it. Um, the only amazing thing is that neither team has broken the 100 point mark. Apple Bank, Jerusalem have got the win. Stay perfect, go top of the group. They win this one 98 to 87 over Rasta Vector. James Fielden was tremendous stat wise 64 and 50 percent in the Basketball Champions League. That's just a great performance by Jerusalem. Rasta Vector, excellent on the road, but in that third quarter, they just dried up. And that's all Jerusalem had and needed. They led by 20 plus at that point, saw out the game. Maybe you'll be disappointed they didn't win by more. Simpson had 26 for Rasta Vector. Felder was so good for his 25. Great all round performance by Jerusalem. They get the win 98 to 87. Go top of the group. Uh, Rasta Vector return Ber join Burgos on two and one. So as the players leave the floor, we're going to show you some highlights of what was a excellent team performance, contributions across the roster. And we hope you've enjoyed that one. Enjoy the highlights. We'll see you soon for more action from the Basketball Champions League. But for now, from Jerusalem, it's good night.